day. We've got change of scenery today. I decided to mix up and change rooms instead of being in the usual room. How is everybody today? How are you coping? How are you feeling? Not many people ask, do they? Or if they do, it's kind of, yeah, I'm all right, I'm okay. When inside you feel like screaming, go, no, actually I'm not, I'm not. It's this polite way, isn't it, of saying, actually, yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay. Just had some terrible rain this morning, but now the sun has come out, so feeling a bit more positive. With regards to the topic of this video, it's something I kind of um denied about for quite a while because it's not the easiest of topics to talk about. Um, but having said that, my channel does kind of address, I would say, sensitive topics and, and life issues, so it is relevant. Grief. Just one word, just grief. And that word can be so much meaning and so much yeah so much meaning in just that word grief and so much feeling as well and obviously those of you who know me that watch my channel no I lost my mum I was to say five years ago but it's actually six years ago it's 2017 and um, my first one was just under a year old when she passed and yeah, I I find it really hard and I think most people do. I think that's natural. So today on the radio, I heard that Mountbatten Hospice were donating a light or you can get a light in someone's memory for the tree or Christmas light. Please correct me if I'm wrong on that. And it's something I've been meaning to do for quite a while. And basically I donated some money to have a little Christmas light in my mum's name. I feel like this is a little bit too bright because the sun is really, really bright. Oh, we've got change of scenery today as well, hang on. In fact, I don't think I need the light today because it is really, really nice now. As I was saying, it was just a nice thing I wanted to do. I just feel like it's almost like I'm giving my mum a present by donating some money for a light in her name because obviously I can't give her a proper present, a physical present. It's hard. It's, I mean, six years later, I'd be lying if I said it gets easier. It does and it doesn't because some people say, oh, it sort of comes to a number feeling. It's not as painful. And to some extent that's true. But then there's other days, I'll, one day I'll be fine and I'll just be doing whatever I'm doing. And it will feel like someone's just like slapped me and the pain, my, my heart literally aches because I miss my mum so much. And I can't say that I don't miss her every single day. In terms of grief, people deal with grief very differently. Nobody is the same. But you do have different stages of grief and different kinds of grief. And I remember once I just felt really angry out of nowhere. How dare, you know, how dare my mum leave me when I needed her the most and it wasn't fair and just really, really angry. And I suppose that's one of the natural parts of grief, um, shock, disbelief, anger sadness and it's not just been it's not just been my about my mum it's obviously been about other people that I've known that have passed I kind of think it's similar with my dad and my mum in some ways because although my dad is obviously still alive he's not the same person as he was and the same was said about mum when I say in my video about the dementia which I really appreciate everybody watching and thank you for watching, by the way. Um, with dementia, there's like three stages of grief. There's kind of, or there's three, if I can remember it right, there's actually losing the person as in 
the person like mentally and emotionally and then losing them completely and then losing them physically so it's almost like different stages it's not as abrupt um it's incredibly painful if anyone can actually remember those three stages of dementia please comment below i found the only things that have really helped me to keep going is obviously my children bereavement counseling is something i also wanted to touch upon i found that really helpful in the past i know crews do it you can do it on the telephone i know mountbatten have done it and I think this was, yeah, this was pre-COVID, so I would have been in in to see someone at Mountbatten and I found it really helpful, even if it's just for someone to listen to you and not necessarily give you advice, but just empathise and understand how you're feeling. And gosh, I mean, if I could, I wouldn't want anyone to experience grief or pain, but unfortunately... Some of us do have to go through that. Is there anything that has helped you through grief? That's what I'd like to know. Is there anything you can suggest that has helped you through grief? And I was going to say that if you are grieving, then go go kind, be kind to yourself and just take each day as it comes. As, che as cheesy as that sounds, as naff as that sounds, it's very, very true. It is definitely a case of each day as it comes. And, and some days you'll feel awful. Some days you'll be okay. But the ache never really goes away. So all I can really say is just be kind to yourself. It's going to add as well. I have lots of thoughts about it, as I'm sure other people do, about grief. Um, but some things do make me laugh, like... Sometimes I'll say something and I'll sound just like my mother and that's comfort. And someone also said to me once that people are never fully gone, that they live on in you. And that's so true sometimes. And sometimes I'll look in the mirror and I'll see my mum. And the older I'm getting, the more I'm seeing my mum. And that's really comforting. And I don't know about the afterlife. It's, it's a very taboo subject. But I hope that when someone passes, they don't just cease to exist. I, I just can't believe that it's so final. So, yeah, yeah, deep thoughts. Um, I would really like to hear from anyone that's, that is struggling. If you are struggling, don't be afraid to reach out. As I said, comment. It's nowhere near easy grieving. And as I said, just be kind to yourself and I'll see you soon.